today I'm playing 18 holes at the world famous Pebble Beach on the Golf Club 2019 Golf Simulator. Stick around until the end to see how good the simulator version of this legendary course is and what score a nine handicap golfer can shoot from the front tees at this truly stunning golf course. Right, if we want to go pebble, more filters trending. It should be on the first page. There we go. Last time out, I shot a ridiculous round 10 under. I have no expectation to do that again. Grab yourself a beer, sit back. Hopefully, we'll get to enjoy the round. So my first tee shot of the day was a good one and I left myself 135 yards to the pin. Uh, that's gonna have to hit something. But I pulled the approach slightly and left a tricky 35 feet downhill putt. My intention here was to simply get it to within six feet and walk away with a gimme par. Keep going son, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh my days, how close was that? The second hole at Pebble is a par five and after a solid six iron tee shot, I was debating whether to lay up to the giant bunker before the green or risk taking it on. Plucked up a bit of courage and I decided to go for it. Oh, look at that, that is disgusting. <laughs> what a lay up. That shank fortunately turned out all right and left a nice pitching wedge distance right. into the pin. I hit a decent approach, but naively tried to take a bit off it and left it 21 feet short. But nevertheless, I had a birdie opportunity. I don't know if it's got enough. Ooh, close. The third is a tough par four, which dog legs to the left and has a green that is tough to hit. I hit a dream of a tee shot that split the fairway. Love it. And then I gripped up a little on my nine iron in the approach to gain a few extra yards of distance and hit the green. I like it, off the bat. Oh, I love that. That's a great shot. That's a great shot. That little tactic worked a treat and I had another makeable birdie opportunity. Don't know if that's got the legs. That was a big chance that for a birdie. 15 feet at Pebble Beach is an amazing chance for a birdie. God, what a hole. What a course. Oh, nearly took my ceiling out. Now we come to what is, in my opinion, the best few holes on the course, with the Pacific Ocean stretching out all along the right-hand side. My approach on the fourth almost went bunker to bunker, but thankfully it managed to cling onto the rough on the edge of the green. The short chip wasn't too difficult, and a nice up and down left me with a gimme par. That's good. I love that. I love that. Look at that. What a hole this is. Don't go right. The fifth is a short par three with the Pacific Ocean hugging the right hand side and it automatically causes you to aim a little further left. I was very happy hitting the center of the green from this tricky tee shot. I had 21 feet left to navigate and I was celebrating my first birdie of the round. Come on, turn, get in. Oh my days. You have got to be kidding me. How the hell has that broke so much at the end? The sixth at Pebble is a crazy par five and it was going to take two very good six irons to get up that banking and somewhere near the green. I pushed my second shot a little bit which had me worried for a second but it clung onto the fairway and left me just 60 yards into the pin. I hit a nice little sand wedge to 13 feet but these greens at Pebble Beach are not the kindest and I was struggling to judge the break. Come on. Go turn. Turn! Oh my god! That's three putts that have just slid by that. Coming up to this hole as well. Legendary hole. The seventh at Pebble. What a hole. The seventh needs no introduction. Possibly the most famous par three in the world. The issue with this hole is that even with no wind added to the equation, it's tough to know which club to hit due to the elevation change. As you can see, I left my tee shot way short and I had 46 feet left to navigate. All I was hoping for was to get my birdie put within the six feet gimme range and walk off with a par. Look at this. I do love this golf course, it's amazing. Solid swing. I had to take a seven iron off the tee to make sure I didn't fall off the edge of the cliff. That left me with a lengthy approach over the ocean, which I was absolutely buzzing with. It's bang on. Go on, keep going, keep going leaving myself another 15 footer for an unexpected birdie chance. 
But again, I was struggling judging the pace and the line of these tricky greens, and I had to settle for a tapping par. Nice swing. It's not a good strike. Nice these are not coming out of the middle of the club. Even from the front tees, this is a massive par four, oh, and it was always going to be right. difficult to make a par on this hole. Oh, sugar. Well, that task was made almost impossible when I went for a romantic walk on the beach. What have you done? Be good, please. Somehow, I hit an unbelievable recovery shot to 10 feet, though, and the miraculous par was back on the table, only to see another makeable putt slip by. First bogey of the round. What a shame that is. Somebody commented on my last video where I played um, Payne's Valley and they said that they can play against my ghost by looking at what date that I played the round. So that's awesome, I think. So feel free to have a bash. Play against my ghost. See if you can beat me. I'm sure you'll be able to. If you're still here watching this video, then thank you very much. Please give the video a like. Let's help grow this Handicap Golf YouTube channel even further. We're at 3,000 subscribers now, which is absolutely amazing. I'm trying to keep these videos short, sharp, and punchy so that they're a little bit easier for everyone to watch. If you've got any advice or tips on how I could make them a little bit better, feel free to drop a comment down below or send me an email. And if you're new to the channel, then please go and subscribe for more Golf Simulator-related content, reviews, advice, and tips. That'd be amazing. Uh. As usual, my six iron was reliable at finding fairways from the tee. Unfortunately, what should have been a straightforward pitching wedge into a narrow green turned into a shocker and found its way into the greenside bunker. I was so close to holding out that bunker shot. Another club selection mistake left me short of the green on the par 3 12th. But again, I managed to recover well right, with the chip shot to, to get up and down for yet another par. Slow down, I like that. It's a good little save, that. One over for the round. If anybody wants some advice about golf simulators, whether you're new to it all and you don't know where to start, or you're just after some tips, feel free to drop me an email at the address on the screen and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I built my simulator setup in my own house on a cheap budget, so I'm happy to help anyone else looking to do the same, whether you're based in the UK, the US, or anywhere else in the world. I can't sink a putt though, so don't ask for advice about that. That's a nice... A dodgy tee shot on the par 5 14th was made to look alright by the very forgiving and wide fairway. My second shot also pulled nice a little, path. and I ended up right. running into the rough, which left a tricky approach to this shallow green. My approach wasn't that good, and I left myself an awful chip coming over the lip of the green, and it was always going to be tough to get it close from there. Thought I played it as good as I possibly could, and I had another 15 footer to sink if I was going to make par and remain at one over. Get in there! Come on! Oh, mate, that's a strike! I hit too good of a tee oh, shot on the 15th and ended up running out of fairway Don't and into the heavy up. rough. Thankfully, my pitching wedge approach was bang on the money. I left myself again. 11 feet to get back to level par. Oh, I'm just not reading these puts right at all. So many chances for birdie. I mean, the scorecard is beautiful, I'm not going to lie. One bogey after 15 holes, and that's it. The rest pars. That's lovely golf art. But there's just been a handful of chances where I should be getting a birdie. That's what's pissing me off. If anybody watching is interested in buying their own home golf simulator, then there's a link in the description underneath this video and it'll take you to a great website where you can buy all types of different launch monitors and golf simulator packages. Right, I've got three holes left. Come on, let's make a birdie. 
Turn, turn, keep turning, keep turning. Oh my God. There's been too many of those today. Right, by this point, I'm pretty mad. I'm one over par. I could easily, on any other day, be about three or four under par. I just can't sink putts to save my life in this round. So I've got two holes left here to try and make that birdie and get back to level par at Pebble Beach. Now the 18th at Pebble is another iconic hole. It's awesome. I've got a very good tee shot straight down the middle of the fairway. Nowhere near that tree, so I've got a clear second shot in. I hit another great strike down the middle, leaving myself just 92 yards into the pin. The birdie is on. I reckon that's good. Go, go, go. Keep going, keep going. Right, they've not been breaking as much as what I've anticipated. So I'm going to go for that. I'm going to go quite firm. This is going in. Come on, for level par at Pebble Beach. Come on. Please be enough. Yes! Come on! Come on! Come on! Get in there! Absolutely buzzing with that. It took 18 holes, but I got the birdie at Pebble Beach. Level par on that course. I'm flying with that.